Hey, darling. It is a cold, blustery winter night. On Memorial Day weekend, it is Friday night. That would be Friday night, May 28th, which is supposed to be four days before you show up here in New York at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Hambone Hilton to be my doomer chick forever. And uh, <laughs> so Maggie, I'm not sure what the silent treatment has been about the past week. I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's a signal from you that you want me to give you some space for you to think things over for this big decision in your life. So uh, I'm not good with silent treatments, but I will uh, I will respect that wish and uh, try not to try not to flood you. So you can take three deep breaths. But, uh, I do appreciate your call yesterday morning. Just a call to say you love me for what it's worth. So what it's worth, darling, it is worth everything, okay? For you to love me is worth everything. And that is what it is worth. And, uh, So I'm assuming all systems are go. I have not heard otherwise. So uh, I'm letting uh, letting the universe sort this out here. I mean, <laughs> the pressure's on you more than it is on me, darling. Uh, I've done everything I can. to let you know in unambiguous terms that you are the woman that I want to be with. You are the woman that I have been waiting for. And uh, I guess we can wait four more days Hopefully the weather will be a little bit nicer. So I do hope you're going to confirm at some point, maybe Tuesday morning when you're pulling out of your driveway, would be nice <clears throat> to let me know you are on your way. Uh, I know you have some things on your mind, darling. And, uh, that you're no doubt having some moments of doubt about this decision you're making in your life. And uh, so, no pressure here. I have, uh, as I say, I don't know what else I can do to uh, roll out the red carpet for you, darling. It's gonna be quite the change in your life. I'm not denying that there's gonna be some changes in your life. And uh, it sounds to me like you want some changes in your life and I don't know what I can promise you, Maggie, but I can promise you some changes in your life. I'm going to be spending a, a lot more time listening to bird song, uh, sitting around campfires, probably a lot more time hoeing corn than you're, <laughs> than you're used to. The cornfield is coming up beautiful. Uh, I hope you're going to spend more time in the company of a man who appreciates your company. That's 
but I'm hoping. I'm hoping you're going to uh, spend some time lying in my arms, darling, and lying in my arms and driving down beautiful back roads together. This is a beautiful ride. I'm heading over right now. Of course, it's 11:20 at night, but uh, we'll come see this beautiful place soon enough. So, uh, anyway, you don't need to bring nothing. But your sweet little self. Everyone's excited to meet you. Sandy cannot wait. She is totally thrilled that one of her Doomer Chick sisters is coming to join us in New York. I think Donna's uh, will be glad to have some more female energy around the old home place. <clears throat> Being stuck between ham bone and realize, realize, realize. Uh, you gotta be tough on a <laughs> tough on a woman so Donna and Rob are both looking forward to your arrival as is Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is making a place uh, making a place for you in his bed. So but I do need to know if you're coming. So do I clean out the Maggie May or not? The Maggie May is filthy. And uh, I guess if you're not coming, I don't need to clean out the Maggie May, do I? But I hope when you get here, the Maggie May will be freshly cleaned. Freshly cleaned and ready for christening. Anywho's, the clock is ticking. And, uh, the universe is waiting for Maggie May to throw some clothes in her car and come see the man who loves her. And wants her by his side for the rest of my life. You are the woman I want to spend the end times with, darling. You are the pick of the litter. You are, are the doomer chick I want by my side as we head into uh, <laughs> head into whatever we're heading into. I want to head into it with you beside me. Because it's going to be a wild fucking ride. And I need a woman who uh, has the balls to, balls to go the distance. With the right sense of humor. A sense of doomer humor. I'm gonna make it through this pass. This is a this is a dangerous enough pass on a bright sunny day. Kind of a rain slick, foggy, dark night. Man, this is a beautiful pass in the gorgeous pass. Next time I come across this pass, I want you in the seat beside me. You'll be coming across this pass on your way up. This is soon after you get off the interstate. You will be coming down the hill. You'll be coming round the mountain. 
You'll be dooming around the mountain. Yep, this is dooming around the mountain. Hmm. All right, darling. I don't know what else to tell you, except I'm uh, calling to say I love you for what that's worth. And I hope it's worth something to you, darling, because it's worth more than anything else in my life. And I love you, and you love me, and we'll just figure out the rest of it from there. I'm getting blinded here. Jesus. Get blinded on, blinded by love. I'm blinded by love on this dark, stormy night. Counting down the days before I see my lover's beautiful face coming into my life to stay. Mm. Alright, gorgeous. I will get the place ready for you. And uh, since I haven't heard otherwise, I will see you Tuesday, June 1st, and start my new life with my Doomer chick. And that's all there is to say. I love you. Bye, darling.